All right, Clayton Kaufman joined by Flagelman soccer coach John Lynch. 3-3 three, three, tie score, you know, those first couple of goals you guys allowed just seemed you guys were out of position. What, what went wrong there on the defensive end? Yeah, well, we've conceded four goals in, the, in nine games going into this and three goals tonight. Uh, we just haven't competed in the box. We've, we're caught on our heels. Uh, we've let a couple of balls bounce in the first half and, and got in underneath us. Um, and I think we switched off. Uh, yeah, and we've, you know, it's tough to keep clean sheets. You have to work very hard to get it. And, and tonight, I think we didn't work hard enough uh, in the first half. Uh, to, and we conceded two goals. And we went in front twice. And, and maybe we thought it was going to be a, an easy game. But they battled back twice. And, and, uh, you know, and then went one up. I'm pleased to get a point. Uh, battling back, but uh, very disappointed at the first two goals we conceded. Definitely, and in the second half, that a big red card on Joseph Tobian. There were a lot of fouls, cards that we could tell from the sideline that were upsetting you. What, what was? What do you think the problem might have been along the field? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know what the foul count was. I didn't get the stats yet, but I know uh, at, at one stage it was uh, uh, 20 fouls against us to nine against them. And uh, you know, Joseph Toby's committed two fouls. He's got booked for both uh, both fouls. Their number eights had five fouls: one on the keeper, uh, one on a breakaway going through, and another one a, a, a hack on Johan in the middle. He's kicked the ball away uh, there at the free kick at the end of the first overtime. You know, four bookable offences, and he's walked away without a card. And I can't explain that. You need to ask the referee. Okay, and coach, let's talk about Matt Gilman. You guys were a man down for 28 plus minutes in the second half, first and second overtimes, and he came up with some big saves to at least keep you guys from losing. Yes, he did. Uh, you know, uh, he he's come through the game well. He's a little shaky in the first half. Uh, I think him and Johan got conf uh, little mixed uh, mixed signals on the first goal that let them back in the game. Uh, but he's re he's redeemed himself. We're a man down. Uh, the wind's still blowing up here, and uh, we we you know we're hoping to win the coin toss. But you know we're going to talk to Paul in a minute, and uh, you know we need to change the coin the coin call because he hasn't won one yet. Uh, we would have liked the win, but. Uh, you know, we wanted to win the game. We went for the win. Uh, we we stayed attacking wise. We were very good in the first overtime. Uh, Matt's done a great job. We've taken some chances, uh, which give them some. But uh, you know, they're a they're a good team. They play in a tough conference. They play tough games all the time. And and being a man down, uh, you know, I'm I'm pleased to get a point, but I'm disappointed with our our discipline. Uh, but Matt's had a good game, and our our defense has been brilliant going into this game. I think we were ranked uh, two or five or something in the country. Uh, we won't be after that, uh, but they've done great, and, and tonight they conceded some goals, and, and uh, we'll look to bounce back.